Usually I keep my strawberry plant outside, but this year as I've got the greenhouse, I brought it in because the slugs always seem to eat the strawberries before anyone else gets a chance. Look how pretty that is. It's doing really well in here, actually. I've got another flower about to open. Isn't it amazing how that flower will turn into a strawberry? Ella's having her little sleep, so I thought I'd come in and do some gardening. I do have a bit of a cold um, that's randomly come. I think it's because of the change of the weather. I've done a COVID test, it's negative, but um, a rotten cold is just not the one. So I want to plant up these cosmos and my lettuce that have got so much growth that if I leave them in these little pots, the roots are going to start tangling around each other so I'm gonna pop them up into bigger containers so at the moment I have one two three four five six I have six in here so they can go I don't have much compost though this is the problem I do have a little spatula thingy I have this tiny little spade which I can dig them out um, and then because I'm going to put six in one whole thing, I don't even have to use another tag. I can just put the tag and know that's what's in there. The lettuce, I'm not sure what to do with that. I know I'm going to pot it on bigger, but I don't have anywhere outside that I can put it. I'm wondering if I can just grow my lettuce in here. Because to put in um, beds around the greenhouse, it's going to take a good couple of days to get done. So I might just stick within here for now. Cameron's sunflowers popped up. All these have popped up. The other two hasn't. But things are really, really starting to pop up. It's quite exciting. Um, so with the cosmos, let me have a look at the... So it says plant out in June, which is great. So if I pop them up into bigger containers, and then in June, I can hand them out. I'm not gonna want six of them, right? I think they get pretty big. Height, 90 to 120 centimeters. So that's like a lot. I have lots of friends. So many lettuces that have come up. Loads. Okay. Good job I don't throw anything away, right? I always keep things like this. And I definitely don't have any food. Try not to damage them roots. No, no, no. It's tiny little root. <laughs> so now, I don't think you can even see them because they're so diddy. But now they can just live their best life individually and um when they're ready to plant out, I can put them sort of in to single pots, like these tomatoes. But I don't know what to do about the lettuces. I think I'm just going to pop them up for now. And then, where is the lettuce thing? And then worry about if I'm going to put them in here. Or if I'll put them outside, I'm not sure. Because the thing is, at the moment, it's all grass. So getting around with a lawnmower is really, really easy. Whereas if I start making funny shaped beds, the lawnmower is not going to be able to get in between those beds, which is going to mean that the grass will then become really untidy. So, because I know I want borders in sort of L shapes, I'm not going to have enough room to get around with the tree. And if the grass becomes untidy, that's going to bother me. So at the moment, it just whew, just cut it with the lawnmower, no problem. So what I need to do is maybe put. Um, mulch or shingle or something like that around this area 
so that, the, that I don't have to worry about that. I need to know what I'm doing before I do it. I'm not going to rush into it and then regret it. This doesn't say anything about when to put it outside or anything like that on there. Hmm. Put it in here. Actually, I think I've got more than six. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm going to need a bigger one of these. So here's what I mean, I have the tree and then obviously I need to allow that tree room to grow so those outer bricks can be moved um, and then I started putting in bricks, obviously I wouldn't have them on top, I would dig them down so they'd be flush but getting in here with a lawnmower might be a bit tricky, this is the kind of shape that I was thinking sort of carrying on down to where that entrance is and then here just carrying down to the end of the greenhouse but then I've got like an odd bit of grass here and along here I probably want stepping stones in here but I'm just unsure so until I'm completely sure about what I want to do with the vegetable patches around it's a lot of work to then do it and then think um oh, actually I don't like it my blueberry bush is doing really really well look put on growth. I think this would be a nice spot for it in here because it could get heat from the glass as well and I also have a raspberry one so I think I'm having a blueberry here and then a raspberry on that side or because raspberries like to climb so well the one that I've got does so it could go in between the fence because this um, clematis here is mainly dead. I do have some blooms but this was full of green whereas now it's just it's not looking very happy at all it looks a bit straggly I don't like straggly I love shopping my own garden for plants you know when you buy a plant and then you can get so many out of that one plant when I bought this it was a tiny little thing and over the years it's just spread and spread and spread and spread so um, yeah I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna tear chunks off and then pop them in different parts of the garden I think plants they talk to you right hear me out if you look at a plant and you see what it's doing it kind of tells you how it's propagated itself some plants will send shoots out from underneath and pop up elsewhere. Other plants are clump forming like this and they'll just get bigger and bigger and bigger, which means you can sort of divide them. Once you've been gardening for a while, you can kind of tell what's the best method to propagate each plant. And nothing's ever 100% success rate. But I can, just, I can just tell that I can just break this apart and I'm gonna get more plants. I can just tell like that. There you go, I've got enough root. That's, that's how big that was when I got it. And as long as you keep it really, really well watered when you put it somewhere else, it's gonna be fine. Especially this time of year, it's not scorching hot yet. So I've still got a lot of wiggle room in moving things around. The best time to really divide plants and move things around is spring and autumn because the plants ain't pushing out flowers so they're not under 
too much stress it's not so hot um yeah another one there it's going to be a bit sad though because it's going to be smaller but it just means i have more of it around the place so because this has done so well in the shade i think i don't even know what it is i think it'll probably flower more in a sunnier location but clearly it's still thriving in the shade so we'll take that as a positive <laughs> i'm going to go put the mummy plant back because i've got loads of little babies there. Every time I have a spare five, 10 minutes, I come and do some work on this heart. Um, the glue that I used in the center was Gorilla Glue and it's just not the right glue. The glue seeped between the crystals. I read online you can use acetone to clear it up but it just didn't work. Um, so I did some more research and I found out that this Gem Tac is one of the better glues that you can use. And around the edges is really really nice so i'm just going to decide i'm not going to take the middle bit off this is just going to be the back side because i'm going to do it the whole way around I've got, I've got two of these to do so this will just be the front side but i've never got one project alone on the go so i picked up this speaker and i want to bling it up with these beautiful little crystals they're like like a pastel rainbow they're really really pretty so while I've got 15, 20 minutes while Ella's having a little nap, I'm going to start doing some of this. I did sort of lightly sand the cup. That's why it's got that sort of texture look to it. I've just done one row and then I'm going to leave that to completely dry. So I've got a nice straight edge to work along. My first line, if you will, of stones have now completely dried. So I'm going to go in and do some more. It's raining outside, so no gardening today. So I thought I'd just update on how Cameron's getting on at work. He's doing so well. I'm so proud of him. I want to create like um, a honeycomb effect. So I'm just going off the one I did before. So they sit nicer together. Being the mum that I am, I was like, come on then, tell me everything that happened. Did you meet anyone? You made any friends? And he was like, there's this one girl. And I was like, mm-hmm. And she said to me, you have really nice eyes. And I was like, oh, that's so nice. What did you say back? He said, thanks, I see out of them. Oh my gosh, dead. <laughs> you know when you don't see yourself in your own children? Nope but then they say something and you're like, oh yeah, there I am, there I am. I was like, Cameron. And he went, well, what am I meant to say to that? I said, well, usually you, uh, you give a compliment to those that have complimented you. And he's like, <laughs> hilarious. He's so funny. It reminds me, years ago, Danny once said to me, you got a nice butt, but he didn't say butt. And I was like, thanks, I poop out of it. But I didn't say poop. And, uh, and he laughed at that. So that's why it made me laugh so much, because I was like, oh my gosh, you are me. I did say to him, you have to sort of battle the inner sarcastic person that you are and try and be nice always because you don't know if like that would really upset her if she's like, oh, because not everyone can take that kind of sense of humour, right? And he was like, no, she was laughing. Not that he meant to be funny. That's just, <laughs> that's just a response he gave, which was just so funny because yeah, that's exactly who I am. On here, I like calm my sarcasm down because it doesn't read very well. Not everyone understands sarcasm. So it can come across a bit, I don't know, people either think that you're being mean, which I suppose you are, or I am. They just don't understand it. But hilarious. 
he's been signed off on a couple of rides so he can work the rides independently they've given me his uniform they've given him his name badge yeah so he's doing really really well he's tired though bless his heart Is Ella stirring? Hello! Let me just finish this line and I'll pick you up. Dog's snoring, can you hear her? Sleeping away. Sleeping away. Probably because I'm talking, right? I'm disrupting Ella. Not disrupting Pixie though, eh? I find doing things like this, crocheting, or anything where you use your hands and you have to concentrate on simple things like weeding, anything like that, so calming and so therapeutic. Just sit here really peacefully. And just focus on one thing and... That's got to be sort of like a meditation, right? It's got to be. You can clear your mind. Right, there we go. I'll just do two lines for now. It doesn't take that long. <laughs> yes, I'm coming. I'm a coming. I'm a coming, little girl. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Is that? Can you see yourself? Can you see yourself? Ella's a couple of days off six months old. Oh my gosh, it goes so fast. You're the dubby girl. You're the dubby girl. You're all sleepy, aren't you? Are you a sleepy baby? Honestly, I thought her hair would grow more than this. I did. My boy's had more hair at this age than she's got. Yeah. Where's your hair, little girl? It's not six months of growth. You're in your walker, so you can show everyone how you can. She can go backwards, she can't go forwards yet. They always learn to go backwards before they go forwards, don't they? She does try and go forwards, she starts. Fuppy, no, you call wingies. Trying to go forward. Yeah, yo. What's that? Give me that, Daddies. Is that your dad's sense? 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 What's this? This. Are you Daddies? your own hair. You can't have my hair. No, you can't have it. It's mine. No, you can't have it. You can't have my hair. You can't have my hair. It's mine. Grow your own. <laughs> so I'm just coming on to end this vlog. Me and Ella are having a snuggle. We're having a snuggle. Are we? She's going to have a little sleep before I have to go get the boys. That's how much of the cup I've done. So not a lot. I started the lid um, and I've done about a quarter of the cup. But it's going to take quite a while to do that, I think. Because the stones are so tiny and I'm quite a perfectionist. So I want them to be really, really straight. So I'm doing a few lines, letting it dry. Doing a few lines, letting it dry. Because when they're wet, they move more. So you're more likely to have them shifting around. So it's good to let them dry every two or three lines plus I've got Ella to to entertain and to feed and to change so everything I do works around her and I'm not complaining about it she's watching the telly so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one take care bye